Hey everybody, welcome back. We are in Unit 4 of the Financial Sector. We're focused on Monetary Policy. This is Subunit 4.6. This is Part 3 in Subunit 4.6. What are we doing in Part 3? <clears throat> We're talking about how the Fed targets the federal funds rate. Okay, How the Fed targets the federal funds rate. First of all, let me just make sure we've got our basics. What is the Fed? The Fed is the U.S. Central Bank. What does the Fed do that's super important? Well, one of the things it does that is very, very important is it controls monetary policy. What's monetary policy? Monetary policy is the manipulation of the money supply to help stabilize the economy. So again, the Fed is controlling the money supply to help stabilize, to help stabilize the economy. In other words, they're either increasing the money supply or decreasing the money supply, all right? Now, I want you to see right here that I'm saying targeting the federal funds rate, that this video is about the Fed targeting the federal funds rate. I think it is important that you know the federal funds rate is not what we call a tool of the Fed, okay? There are three tools of the Fed. Tools of the Fed are things the Fed sets or does directly, okay? The federal funds rate, guys, that is an interest rate, okay? That is an interest rate that banks charge each other when they are borrowing and lending reserves, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second, okay? But it's an interest rate set in a market, and there's my market over there, between banks, okay? So, the interest rate is set between market participants, and those market participants are commercial banks. The Fed, therefore, does not set the federal funds rate, so we can't call it a tool. However, they target it. They can absolutely influence it. If they want it to go up, they can pretty well get it to go up. And if they want it to go down, they can get it to go down. So it is an important interest rate that we know about because it is one they are targeting, but just technically speaking, not a tool. What are the tools of the Fed? The tools of the Fed are open market operations. And when we say operations, we mean they can either buy or sell U.S. Treasury bonds to banks. Okay, They can buy or from banks. They can either buy the U.S. Treasury bonds, giving banks reserves, or sell banks U.S. Treasury bonds, taking bank reserves out. Okay, So we've got our open market operations. We've got our required reserve ratio okay, and our discount rate. These are the tools of the Fed. The Fed controls these directly. Now, next big point, okay? I got my federal funds rate and I've got my discount rate. Again, discount rate, a tool, federal funds rate, something they target. The discount rate, if you're ever asked to define it, what the heck is it? It is the interest rate the Fed charges banks. Since it's the interest rate the Fed charges banks, guys, that means the Fed gets to set this thing and therefore it is a tool. The federal funds rate, again, this is an interest rate that banks charge each other to borrow and lend reserves, okay? So, hopefully you've got that. Out of these three tools, for some reason, AP Macro and some economics teachers want you to know which one does the Fed use when they are really trying to manipulate the federal funds market, and the answer is this one, okay? open market operations. That's just something you just kind of have to know, okay? If you're ever asked which tool does the Fed use to manipulate the federal funds rate or the federal funds market, the answer is open market operations. Now, let me get into this graph a little bit and then we're going to talk kind of big picture like what the Fed would do in a recession. But let's get into the graph for just a second. Federal funds market. I see that word market. If I'm an economic student, I go, okay, I'm, I'm not nervous about that. I totally understand how markets work. First of all, if it says federal funds market, this curve right here must be the supplier of federal funds, and it is, okay? This curve, this must be the demander of federal funds, and it is. Right here, I'm going to put the price of federal funds, and what's the price of federal funds? It is the federal funds rate, the thing that we are very much focused on in this video, okay? This is the thing the Fed, again, is targeting. And what am I going to put here on the horizontal? Federal funds market, it must be the quantity of federal funds. Now, again, what's happening here, guys? In this market, we are having reserves, okay, reserves, and those are federal funds. By the way, that's kind of important. Reserves, federal funds, you can pretty much use them interchangeably, okay? So, in this market, what we have is banks lending and borrowing reserves, okay, on an overnight basis, a very short-term basis. Okay, why is that happening? Because banks at the end of the day sometimes see that they have excess reserves and they want to do something with those excess reserves even for a night. And so banks with excess reserves, they will supply federal funds. Again, federal funds are just bank reserves. They will supply bank reserves to other banks. 
Other banks find themselves deficient in federal uh, in reserves, okay, in federal funds, okay. Remember, the Fed sets the required reserve ratio, and if their total reserves are less than what they're required to have, they need to go get federal funds, go get reserves. Those are the demanders of federal funds or reserves, okay. So banks and banks. This is interbank lending. This is. Bank lending, this is lending from one bank to another bank, okay, on an overnight basis, very short term. Now, let's say we have a recession. What would we do to these three tools? Okay, very quickly, this one, open market operations. Would we buy or sell U.S. Treasury bonds to banks? If we're in a recession, we want to get reserves into banks, so we would buy bonds, U.S. Treasury bonds, so the open market operation we would do is a purchase. We would purchase bonds putting reserves into banks, okay? So, put that here, purchase. And I will come back to that again, because that's gonna be really important, because again, it's open market operations they're using to manipulate this market. Required reserve ratio, what would a bank do in a recession? They would lower it. Doing a couple of things, increasing the money multiplier, and also freeing up more reserves to be lent. And then what would they do, the discount rate? The interest rate they charge for lending banks' reserves, they would lower it. They would make it cheaper to borrow reserves because, once again, they want to increase reserves in banks because they want to increase lending in banks. But, again, I'm going to focus mainly on this one since technically that's the one they're using to manipulate this market. So, recession. They go do an open market purchase. Again, they're going to purchase U.S. Treasury bonds from banks, putting reserves into banks. When they put reserves into banks, what's going to happen to the amount of banks that have excess reserves? It's going to increase. And even the excess reserves in, sorry, if a bank already had excess reserves, they would have even more excess reserves. So what's going to happen to this curve? It's absolutely going to shift to the right, okay? Representing an increase in banks with excess reserves willing to lend them. What's going to happen to the number of banks that are demanding federal funds that need reserves. Well, if I just bought bonds, it's not I, the Fed, if the Fed just bought bonds and put reserves into banks, okay, there's going to be less banks that need reserves. There's going to be less banks deficient, okay? So what are we going to do with this one? We're going to shift it less. The demand is going to decrease, all right, for federal funds. And we get a big key takeaway. What is going to happen to the federal funds rate. It is going to go down. The federal funds rate is going to go down. So when we are in recessions, what we will normally hear the Fed doing is lowering the federal funds rate. Again, they can't do it themselves. They're really just targeting a lower federal funds rate. The way the news talks about it, it's not always precise, okay? But they're pretty good at targeting getting the one they want, okay? But they're going to target a lower uh, federal funds rate because they want to increase bank lending. If they get this interest rate to go down, usually all interest rates kind of go together in an economy. They can get interest rates in general to go down. And that is their goal in a recession, get interest rates down and get borrowing up, okay? How am I doing that? I'm just increasing reserves in banks and this is the result of increasing reserves in banks. More of them have excess, less deficiency, Federal funds rate goes down, mission accomplished, I got my lower rate. That's hopefully going to stimulate the economy. Hopefully that made sense to you. We'll see you in the next video.